Hello guys, let's start with another problem, problem number 5. So let's see what this problem says. You can see here I have drawn A, B, C, D which is actually a trapezium here and I have extended this branch B, A till point E. Then these two branch C, E has been met. So what you are getting in this, you, it has been given to you that A, B, A, B is in parallel with C, D. These two branches are not equal but they are parallel to each other. And things which you need to prove here is that angle A is equal to angle B, angle C is equal to angle D and in the third part triangle ABC is in congruency with triangle BAD. And in the fourth part you need to prove that if diagonal AC is equal to BC, BD or not. So how you will proceed with this problem? So what you will do here? It has been given to you that AB is in parallel with CD and this branch C is in such a way that C is in parallel with AD. So what you will do here, let's draw a perpendicular, let's draw a perpendicular, let's suppose this is AF and let's draw another perpendicular from B, let's suppose this is I. You know that this is perpendicular drawn on CD and AB is in parallel with CD. So if this line, this line drawn will be perpendicular on both the lines. Why? Because AB is in parallel with CD. That's why if this line is perpendicular on CD, so this will be perpendicular on AB as well. So this angle is also 90 degree. So now let's see, it has been given to you that AD is equal to BC. It has been given to you that AD is equal to BC. This is given. Now let's see, this branch is equal to this branch and this branch will be equal to this branch. Why? because they are perpendicular lines on between these parallel lines and you know that when two lines are parallel to each other they maintain a constant gap if it will be let's suppose these two lines are parallel to each other if this gap here is 5 centimeter so this gap will be 5 centimeter throughout from minus infinity to plus infinity that's why these gap will be equal to each other a F will be equal to B I perpendiculars. Th these will be equal to each other. Why? Because because A B is in parallel with C D. Okay. So now let's see here. You know that this line is equal to this line and this line is equal to this line. So when you need to find angle at A and angle at D, what you'll take? Let's take sine angle. Sine of angle D will be equal to height. Height is AF upon AD. And let's take sine of angle C which will be equal to BI which is height and hypotenuse which will be BC. What you'll do? Equate sine angle, sine angle D and sine of angle C. AF is equal to AD is equal to BI is equal to BC. So you know that AF is equal to BI. So AF will cancel BI. You know that AD is equal to AD is equal to BC. So they, it will cancel out BC. So that's how sine angle D I have equated. So it has been proved that yes these two angles has to be same. So from here you can see that angle D will be equal to angle C because they are cancelling out each other. So it has been proved that second part has been proved that angle D is equal to angle C. Now let's look out for angle A and angle B. You know that this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree. This is 90 and this angle angle D and angle C are coming out to be same. So what will be this angle? You know that sum of all the angles of a triangle, let's take triangle ADF and triangle BCI. So in triangle ADF, when you need to cal calculate DA 
F, you need to calculate angle at F. This will be is equal to DAF plus 90 degree plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. So, what you will get angle DAF will be equal to 90 degree minus angle D. And in triangle BCI, angle at C B I plus 90 degree plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So, angle C B I is equal to 180 minus 90 minus angle C. So, angle C B I is equal to 90 minus angle C. And you know that angle D is equal to angle C. So, angle C B I is equal to 90 minus angle D. So, you can see here that these two are these two expressions CBI is coming out to be equal to DAF. So, when angle CBI this angle is equal to this angle and you know that these two angles are 90 degrees. So, angle at A angle at A is equal to angle at A is equal to DAF plus 90 degree and angle at B is equal to angle CBI plus 90 degree. You know that angle this is equal to this expression. Let us suppose this is first expression and this is second expression. So, let, what you will do? Let us put expression first in the second. You will see that these two are equal to each other. So, you will get angle A is equal to angle B. So, first part has been also proved. So, what you will do for the third part? Third part is angle or triangle ABC is in congruency with triangle BAD. So, let us see third part. Third part is consider triangle ABC and triangle BAD. So, what you know in these two triangles? You know that AB and AB will be the common branch. This is common. And what else you know? You know that in triangle ABC, BC is equal to AD. This is given to you. And what else you know? You know that in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to angle A. Proved in part first. So, what you know? Side, angle, side. From SAS rule, from SAS rule, triangle ABC is in congruency with triangle BAD. So, now let us see this thing here in this figure ABC. What you will do? Let us draw a diagonal here meeting point A and C. Let us draw another diagonal here meeting point B and D. So, you know that AB will be the common branch here. You know that AD is given equal to BC. When you draw a triangle ABC, you, you see that this, here will be the angle B which will be including these two common branches and when you draw triangle, uh, uh, diagonal BD, you will see that angle A will be including these two common branches. So, from the SAS rule, triangle ABC is coming out to be congruent to triangle BAD. For the fourth part, what you will do, you know that, that these Three triangle, these two triangles are congruent to each other. So, they have to be similar in shape as well as size. So, when you know that two branches are already equal. So, what you have to do? You just make third side equal to third side of triangle BAT which will be BD. So, AC is equal to BD. You know that AB is equal to AB. This is already a common branch. BC is equal to AD. This has been given to you. And third branch will be AC and BD. So, these has to be equal Y to make triangles similar in shape as well as size. Hence, proved AC is equal to BD. Why? Because triangle ABC is in congruency with triangle BAD. I will be taking theorems in the next video lecture. Thank you.